Step into the heartwarming world of Highway to Heaven, a classic TV series that left an indelible mark on viewers. Starring the legendary Michael Landon, this show is a testament to the power of human kindness. The series, known for its touching narratives and moral lessons, unfolds as Jonathan Smith, played by Michael Landon, a probationary angel, is sent to Earth to help people in need. But did you know there's a trove of funny, shocking, and sad facts waiting to be unveiled? Keep watching, and you might just discover some lesser-known anecdotes that will fascinate you. One highlight to look out for is the appearance of a classic Hollywood actor. Who was your favorite among them? Share your thoughts in the comments below. As you reminisce about Highway to Heaven, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the series? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned for more surprises and insights into this iconic TV series. Funny, shocking, and sad facts await, so keep watching. Highway to Heaven stands out as a significant television series that left a lasting impact on viewers. Led by Michael Landon in the role of Jonathan Smith, the show addresses important societal issues, shedding light on the mistreatment of older individuals, people with disabilities, and others. On his journey alongside Mark, he aims to instill better values in people while emphasizing the importance of treating others with love and respect. Throughout the series, viewers witness his efforts to defend those in need, providing an element of action. One memorable episode features a confrontation with thugs who had taken a man's food. He intervenes, urging them to return the food and resorting to physical action when they refuse. The episodic structure, with Jonathan and Mark traveling from town to town, adds a sense of variety and adventure. Landon's intention to inspire love and laughter is evident, making each episode a compelling watch that encourages viewers to contemplate helping others. The impact of the show is not limited to entertainment, it extends to the realm of personal growth. It serves as a reminder of the importance of love and respect, echoing sentiments that resonate with a viewer's values. Landon's portrayal of Jonathan Smith is particularly noteworthy as it prompts reflection on the positive influence such characters can have on individuals. In the context of contemporary television, where family-oriented programming seems to be overshadowed would by reality shows, the return of series like Highway to Heaven would offer a refreshing alternative. The themes and Landon's approach harken back to viewers' childhood memories, drawing parallels to the loving guidance of a family member. In conclusion, the show remains a timeless series that transcends the confines of its era. Michael Landon's portrayal of Jonathan Smith, in particular, has left an indelible mark, inspiring viewers to be better individuals. The exploration of societal issues, coupled with the emphasis on love and respect, continues to resonate with audiences. Michael Landon and Victor French, creators of the TV series, were committed to featuring lesser-known actors, often scouting community theaters for talent. Landon, in particular, sought to provide opportunities for actors with disabilities, going as far as adapting scripts to accommodate his chosen cast. A distinctive recurring element in the series was the prominent use of the color pink. Whether it was Jonathan donning a hot pink shirt, driving a pastel pink van, or encountering soft baby pink walls at his assignment locations, the color played a significant role each week. Premiering a decade prior to Touched by an Angel, another family fantasy drama with a similar premise, the series paved the way for angelic interventions in earthly matters. In 1989, after Victor French's death from lung cancer, Michael Landon, previously a heavy smoker, quit smoking but continued to indulge in heavy drinking. Notably, whenever Jonathan had to wear a suit and tie on the show, it was consistently the same outfit. Initially, the TV series was a significant success for NBC, a network struggling at the time. However, by 1988, declining ratings led to the decision to cancel the series after the upcoming fifth season. Michael Landon, anticipating that a full 24-episode season might be underutilized, opted for a truncated season of 13 episodes. As suspected, NBC decided not to assign the series a regular time slot, relegating it to fill last-minute gaps in the schedule. The final season, intended to conclude in Christmas 1988, was only broadcast sporadically, with the series finale delayed until August 1989. Dissatisfied with both his treatment and the shows, Landon severed his 30-year association with NBC, taking his next project, Us, to CBS.
known in Hollywood circles as Jesus of Malibu, the TV series created by Michael Landon and Victor French earned its moniker due to Landon's Jewish heritage on his father's side. Contrary to the title, Landon wouldn't qualify as Jewish given his Irish-American Catholic mother. Amidst the backdrop of the Vietnam War, a prevalent theme in many 80s TV shows, Highway to Heaven tackled the war's aftermath. The narrative delved into the lives of characters with diverse backgrounds, including Americans and Vietnamese, highlighting the war's impact on bicultural children. The show's theme song, composed by David Rose, may surprise many as the same mind behind The Stripper, a tune commonly associated with wedding garter removal. As the series navigated complex societal issues, its distinctiveness lay not only in its thematic exploration, but also in Landon's commitment to showcasing lesser-known actors, often scouting talent from community theaters. Landon, a heavy smoker turned Tita Taylor post Victor French's death, made strategic decisions like a truncated final season, reacting to declining ratings and NBC's treatment. The legacy of Highway to Heaven, beyond its Moses of Malibu nickname, lies in its trailblazing approach to social issues and Landon's dedication to inclusive casting, etching its mark in TV history. Jonathan Smith, portrayed by Arthur Thompson, is the central character in the TV series. A probationary angel, he aims to earn his wings by helping people on Earth under the guidance of the boss, commonly known as God. The show diverges from traditional religious views, aligning more with concepts found in Mormonism, where deceased individuals can become angels. Victor French, who played a hero on the show, referred to Michael Landon as his angel for breaking him free from typecasting as a villain. This partnership was crucial to French's career trajectory. The series contemplated a potential prequel spin-off centered around a young Mark Gordon during his days as a policeman. This concept would have featured a different actor in the role, exploring Gordon's character before the events of the main series. In summary, Highway to Heaven stands out for its unique take on angels, breaking away from conventional religious beliefs. Michael Landon's pivotal role in Victor French's career and the consideration of a prequel spin-off showcase the show's impact beyond its central narrative. Highway to Heaven, a television series from 1984, left an enduring mark with its commitment to inclusivity. Notably, the show provided opportunities for disabled actors, including James Troche, who portrayed Scotty Wilson, a quadriplegic facing various challenges. Trosha's character evolved throughout the series, becoming a successful lawyer, married man, and adoptive father. Tom Sullivan and Robert David Hall, also disabled actors in the series, advocated for the rights of disabled individuals beyond their on-screen roles. Victor French's role in the series is significant as it marked his final television endeavor. While some speculated that the show ended due to French's death from lung cancer, the decision had been made earlier in 1988 due to declining ratings. Michael Landon, the co-creator, passed away in July 1991, further marking the end of an era. Throughout the series, Jonathan and Mark traveled in a 1977 Ford Limited II, symbolizing their journey of angelic interventions. The show's practical approach to disability representation and its narrative decisions regarding its conclusion showcase its impact on television history. In conclusion, Highway to Heaven's distinctive features lie in its commitment to inclusivity and its unique portrayal of angels. The series navigated societal issues and showcased lesser-known actors, contributing to its lasting significance in the TV landscape. In casting the TV series, NBC initially sought a youthful actor for the role of Mark Gordon. However, Michael Landon, known for resisting attractive actors, insisted on casting his friend Victor French. Landon's preference for French, stemming from their previous collaboration on Little House on the Prairie, led to a rewrite of the character to fit French's middle-aged persona. In an early episode, Jonathan, portrayed by Arthur Thompson, admonishes Mark for smoking. Interestingly, both Michael Landon and Victor French in real life were avid chain smokers, highlighting a contrast between fiction and reality in the series. Season 2 saw familiar faces from Little House on the Prairie making appearances, including Shannon Doherty, Moses Gunn, Matthew Labiordo, and Patrick Labiordo. This crossover of actors added a layer of familiarity for viewers of both series. The intricate dynamics behind casting decisions and the inclusion of actors from Little House on the Prairie provide insights into Michael Landon's influence on the show's direction.
Such details, woven into the fabric of Highway to Heaven, offer a glimpse into the pragmatic decision-making that shaped the series.